believe you'd go and die on your own course giving me the chance. <laughs> the nerve. It's funny. Another rigor mortis has made me seem more relaxed than ever. Huh? What's that? You want me to have my mother's necklace? Oh, I, I couldn't. Really? For me? Yes. 
It is. I had to do something for your mother and me. Didn't I? You think you're the only one who suffered when your mother died? Well, boo-hoo! While you were having your little pity party for yourself, I had just lost the one person I ever truly loved to a terrible, awful disease. A mother isn't supposed to bury her one and only child. When your grandpa died, yes, I was left with wealth. And I used it to buy your mother everything she could have ever wanted. And she loved that necklace you're wearing more than anything else. And you know that to be true. So when she died, I took it back. Yes, it was a bit selfish. But I only took it back because it was the only thing left to hold on to. Oh, but you, you were furious. You refused to even speak to me. Your generation has gone soft. The Great Depression would have eaten you up and spit you out like a shitty piece of chewing tobacco. I tried to reach out to you, to apologize. We could have been something for each other. But you could only think about yourself. I have wealth. And I regret the fact that I wasn't better to you. But I would give away all that money just to have your mother alive today. But I didn't want to waste it on a selfish brat like yourself until you learned how I felt. So please, give me back my daughter's necklace. You have a life to live. Don't waste your time brooding and being a victim. Let me die. Go on your way. Ha, 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 ha.